Welcome back for a two-year review. I know many of you have been waiting for this for a long time. I'm going to cover the outside. Cynthia is going to cover the inside. And we're going to talk about all of the upgrades that we felt were important to us and our travel desires as we've been hitting the road for the last two years. In our adventures, we determined several things. One, we needed recovery gear because we like to spend a lot of time off-road and off-grid. And to do that, we decided to go with the Backwoods Adventure Mods bumper. With that, we were able to include the worn winch, which is extremely easy to use. We have a remote control for it, and we simply hit a button, and we can extract our winch. We went with the synthetic rope, because it's easy to maintain and you don't have all the slivers that you do on a metal line. To put it back in, we just hit the button, add some pressure. We also went with Vision X lighting. Up here on the bull bar, we have a 20 inch light bar. At the very top, we have a 40 inch light bar and we have one inch cubes for our fog lamps. Another thing that we did on the front end is we added Arma. Underneath the van, because we do a lot of off-roading, we also added the van compass engine skid plate and the differential skid plate in the back to help protect it from getting damaged by rocks. We added two things under the hood, which have been invaluable. Number one, we added a heat exchanger, which is gonna keep our water tanks from freezing during our upcoming winter travels in Alaska. And we also added a second alternator that is dedicated to our battery system and keeping it charged. Moving to this side of the van, you'll notice we did Arma on our fenders as well to help protect those, but also to create a good clean line. We also added new tires. These are 285, 75, 17s, which is the equivalent to a 34 inch tire. And it helped lift the van a little bit higher. But in order to add these tires on, we had to do a complete change to our suspension. We added the Van Compass 6.3 suspension upgrade, which includes a two inch lift and lifts the entire body of the van up off of the ground to give us that much more clearance. One of our other recent changes is we relocated the position of the S-Bar and it's now connected right here on the back of the battery box and our heat exchanger is actually inside the battery box. This will allow us to have easier maintenance when it's time for us to service the S-Bar. We also added Arma along our rockers on both sides of the van and up here around the windows and on our flares. We did it around the windows because not only does it look good, but it has helped protect the van against the pinstripes that we've gotten while we are off road. We did our flares because while we're driving, we've already noticed so many nicks and dings from rocks that are kicked up from the van by being off road, that this helped protect that. Here we have a city fill. In the newer vans they don't have the city fill outside anymore. It's inside which makes a lot of sense because we've only used this once or twice in all of our travels so it's kind of pointless. We have our cassette tank which we would much rather have than a black tank. We can simply pull up to an outhouse, dump our toilet, and continue on with our adventures. It's so easy to use, we're very happy. We then went with the Backwoods Adventure Mods ladder. The stock ladder has a weight capacity of just over 200 pounds. I'm a little bit more than that, so I could never use the ladder safely. It's not sturdy. This one is extremely sturdy, it has a larger footprint as we go up the van. At the very top, there's a spot that you can stand on top. It also has foot grips and it looks like a beast. The Rebels also have Dometic windows, which are double paned. These have been very beneficial. They've proven that they could 
keep the cold outside and help us keep the cold inside during temperatures like this. Here we have our 30 amp power connector if we are actually sitting at a campground. We've only used this two or three times. Moving to the back side of the van, we decided to go with an Owl Vans tire carrier. We needed a way to carry a full size spare tire because it no longer would fit underneath the van. We were kind of worried about how this would impact our length, but now that we have it on there, we know it doesn't make any difference at all. We're still able to park in a normal parking spot and we're really happy with the product because we did not have to drill into our door at all. They took really good care of us when we brought in the van to put it on as well. It took like 20 minutes for them to install it and we just had them do it because we were on the road and we just wanted to keep going. We also went with the Backwoods Adventure Mods rear bumper and the reason we decided on this rear bumper is we have a step back here. This allows us to get in and out of the van very easily while using our GLSS or Garage Lounge, lounge storage system. We also decided to go with rigid lighting back here in the back. This is integrated with our reverse lights because what we noticed was at night, our camera would not pick up the lights from our normal reverse lights. So having those rigid lights on there, our camera works perfectly, it brightens it up just enough so that we could see where we're going in the dark. On this side of the van, we have some additional 12 volt plugs. So if you need to plug something in while you're sitting outside, maybe like a stereo, you have that ability right here to do that. We also have an additional solar panel plug. So that's about it for the outside of the van. We do have our awning, which allows us to create some shade, depending on where we're sitting. And it has worked perfectly for us. A lot of people complain about whether it's level or it builds water. You want to have it at a little bit of an angle in order to allow that water to run off. And now I'm gonna take you inside the van and show you what we've changed in the last six months. First, we're gonna put the awning out. It's noon and we've been keeping the inside of the van cool. So I'll show you what we do to do that. Okay, I'm gonna show you around on the inside and show you what we do to keep it cool in temperatures like this and warm in the winter. One of the things we really love is this table. Flips up this. We actually use this table quite a bit. Moving inside. One of the things we recently added was this Canyon Adventure Vans Lagoon table. And we weren't sure about it at first if it would get in the way, but it actually doesn't because it moves so easily. Another thing that we've done to keep it cool and warm is these window pillows made by Overland Gear Guy. These keep out both the cold and the heat. Same with our fan cover. When we have our air conditioning running, this fan cover is great when we have the AC going. And then in the winter, it helps keep out the cold. We have our new control panel. Right here we have our water pump, tank level, battery level. This controls our S-bar. House battery on and off, our thermostat, and our lights, our inverter, and of course our bed goes up and down. This is one of my favorite parts of the van, you guys, is the bed is just so easily to convert. Just push a button. No moving any cushions. Just really easy to go up and down like this. And this way we don't leave the bed in the down position. I think if we would have gone with our previous choice of the Coachman Galleria, we would have never um, made the bed up and actually lounged back here. And that's what's cool about our GLSS back here. 
We also added the Canyon Adventure Band's head bump stopper. Jim and I have both bumped our heads on this many, many times. And since we've added this, we still bump our heads on it. It just doesn't hurt as bad. Moving into the closet, nothing much has really changed in here. We still keep all of our stuff. Our Instant Pot is in that bin and just random stuff in here. Our toilet paper has never moved from this spot. Jim's drone stays down there and we have our extra storage. What I love about this closet is I can pretty much just throw anything in there and it's out of sight, out of mind. I still feel like we have plenty of storage. However, we do need to add an extra shelf to our pantry. We just haven't gotten around to doing that yet. The refrigerator. holds pretty much everything we need. It even makes ice. And we have dirty dishes in the sink. That's typical. This is our new Canyon Adventure Van step, which is really helpful in getting up into the bed and when I make the bed. It's one of those things that we didn't think we would need, but now that we have it, I use it all the time. It goes up really easily goes down really easily and just tucks away. We have one of the original garage lounge storage systems. Canyon Adventure Vans has updated their systems and now they have sliding doors. We take pride in the fact that we have one of the very first ones that they made. And with that said, you guys know, you've seen what we do, where we go, how much dust we get, and just how dirty we get. And I decided not to clean these and just show you what it's actually like. And They've held up really nicely. This red dirt gets on it and we just wipe it right off with a cloth. It holds a lot. Right now we have all of our winter stuff on this side and our clothes. Just to show you what I keep my clothes in, but I left that bag out. And right now we do have a lot of our stuff out of the lounge system, but it all goes right back in with no problem. On this side we have the stuff that we don't access as much or don't need as much and it's just kind of tucked away down here because this is where I really like to sit and literally lounge. Back here. Our Dutch oven, cast iron skillet, air compressor, and winch recovery gear. And the great thing about the GLSS, you guys, is we aren't that organized. It just, it holds so much stuff even if we just kind of toss it in there. So this is some new things that we're working on for um, 2021 is doing some special edition powder coating. So we take our basic aluminum that we're using now, which matches perfectly in the Rebel, but we're also going to start to individualize it a little bit. So if somebody wanted something in a different color, we can do that I as well. I love that. We have a new shower curtain that uh, we haven't started shipping yet, but this is coming. And this is, it just slides right out and goes all the way around and then has magnets on the bottom. So when you're taking a shower, not a drip hits the floor, it just hits the curtain and rolls right into the shower pan. When you're living in such a small space, having good places to organize your stuff is incredibly important. So we love our behind the seat organizer from Overland Gear Guy. It has so many pockets. It holds everything we need, including our iPad, my MacBook Pro, all of our cords. My spices are even tucked into the very bottom pouch. Right before we started recording this video, we had the air conditioner on because Ember's getting a little hot. So. We're boondocking. We've been out here for, this is day two. We're just gonna turn our air conditioner back on. Okay, 
that about does it for the inside. Not much has changed in here besides the addition of our tables, our step, our head bonker. This is how we hold our paper towel. Some people really love this. It's just a bungee cord holding our paper towel. Moving around to the back. We have our speakers in our back door. The outdoor shower that I used this morning. My coat is still drying out from that huge storm that we just had. And I have that on my Canyon Adventure Vans coat hook. And this is where I hang most of our stuff that needs to dry out or that we just need access to real quick. This is from thisvanlife.net and it covers the back doors and really does a good job of keeping the heat out and the cold out. It's magnetic. What we have up here is a new sound system which was on our top five of modifications that we wanted to do after our one year review. And we did exactly that. We have the Pioneer 7600 NEX which has a nine inch floating screen. It gives us car play. We can either plug in from the side or we can use our Bluetooth to connect the car play as well. We also have 5.25 inch Maximo speakers in the doors, as well as Maximo tweets. In the back, we have six and a half inch speakers and we have an eight inch sub in a custom box right here behind the driver's seat. For me, I love the touchscreen interface. I love the ability to connect to our phones. On here, we have several different apps that we use for travel. We have Google Maps, we have Waze, and we have maps as well. This allows us to talk on our phone, see our messages as they pop up, and it just is a fantastic interface. From the passenger side, I think Cynthia would argue that it's not as easy for her to access some of the buttons. However, it integrates perfectly with our steering wheel. He can access it on a steering wheel. I have this remote, but I from the passengers have to, if I turn it down, have to hit down and then mute. And it's just kind of a hard target, especially on bumpy roads. But for him, it's just easy. But that's my only complaint. One of the most important upgrades that we've done is a Rome rig system. You might be wondering, what does that mean? Well, remember in our one year review when we said our dream was to convert to lithium and have it inside the van? This entire bench seat is a custom bench seat that holds 630 amp hours of lithium batteries. And now for final thoughts. My final thoughts are, I'm very glad that we went with the Revel. We had so many other options and this was the perfect option for us. Also over the past two years, it has taken us to some amazing places that we would have never gone to before during the pandemic as well, it has been sort of an escape for us. This is how we endured this past year. I get asked a lot how I feel about the bed in the back, if it's big enough for Jim and I, and we fit perfectly fine in the back. We're cozy, we sleep well back there, but we're both really good sleepers. In terms of all of the upgrades, I'm happy with them. As a passenger, the suspension has taken away that sway that I used to feel as a passenger as we were going down the road that would go like this and make my tummy turn a little bit. So I'm happy about that. Let's see what Jim thinks. My final thoughts on the van is we wanted a turnkey option that we could modify and make our own. And I think ultimately we determined that this is why we rebel. We enjoy the fact that we can make the modifications that we've made and enhance the shell that we purchased. As things wear out, as things break, we can do the upgrades and modifications to make them that much better. If there's anything that we didn't cover today, if you have any questions, we do videos every six months about the van itself and then in between we do our travel videos. If you have questions, leave them in the comment section below. Over the next six months, we're gonna be putting the Rome rig system to the test 
We're probably going to do a couple more upgrades while we're down here in the States. And we'll be excited to show those to you come winter. So stay happy. Stay healthy. And stay safe. We'll see you again soon. Oh, hey, did you hit that subscribe button? That really helps our channel too. We'll see you later.